what is up guys welcome back to another video in today's video we are doing a patrol behavior so we've got four waypoints down and our ai is just simply patrolling going in order from first to last and he loops back to the first when he gets to the last one uh this is very flexible we can make as many waypoints as we want and put them wherever we want and the ai will simply patrol so without further ado let's just dive right in all right the first thing we want to do is create our patrol module script so go to your ai and add in a module script i'm going to rename it to be patrol module let's rename this as well all right, next we need a function to rotate the AI smoothly towards the next waypoint instead of snapping to face the direction instantly. This function, smooth rotate, ensures that the AI smoothly rotates to face the target waypoint. We calculate the direction by subtracting the AI's current position from the target position. Then we use C-Frame Lerp to gradually rotate the AI towards a new direction, with 0.1 being the smoothness factor. <laughs> yeah, boy. Now let's define the main function that handles the AI's movement between waypoints. This is where most of the patrol logic will be. In this part of the script, we define the patrol function. This function takes in four parameters, the AI object, the folder of waypoints, the current waypoint index, and the walk animation track. Inside the function, we reference the AI's humanoid and humanoid root part, which we need to control for movement and positioning. Nice. Next, we need to get the list of waypoints from the folder and ensure there are waypoints to patrol to. We use get children to retrieve all the parts from the waypoints folder, which we'll use as patrol points. We then check if there are any valid waypoints in the folder. If the folder is empty, the function returns the current waypoint index, meaning the patrol logic will stop until waypoints are available. Now we need to ensure the AI moves to the correct waypoint and then loop it back to the first waypoint after reaching the last one. In this section, we handle the looping behavior. If the current waypoint index exceeds the total number of waypoints, it resets to one, making the AI patrol continuously. Then we assign the target waypoint to the part that the AI should move towards. Next, we need to calculate the direction to the waypoint and move the AI smoothly towards it while playing the walk animation. We calculate the direction by subtracting the AI's position from the waypoint's position and normalizing it using dot unit. The y-axis is flattened so the AI can only move on the x and the z-axis. The humanoid move function moves the AI in this direction and we use the previously defined smooth rotate function to rotate the AI toward the waypoint. If the walk animation isn't already playing, we start it here. Finally, we check if the AI has reached a waypoint and move to the next one. This section checks if the AI is close enough to the current waypoint by calculating the magnitude between the AI's position and the waypoint's position. If the magnitude is less than three, the AI moves on to the next waypoint by incrementing the current waypoint index. Once the AI reaches the last waypoint, the index wraps around to the first waypoint, making the patrol continuous. And that is it for our patrol module. Now we need to go to our AI controller script and we need to load in the patrol module. Next, we need a couple of variables for our waypoints folder and our current waypoint index. So we'll put those right here. And we haven't made our waypoints yet, but we are going to call it just waypoints. We're going to make a folder called waypoints and we're just going to put parts in it that will represent our waypoints. Now let's scroll down and let's change our current behavior to be patrol. 
And in our while loop, we need to add in another else if. And then we just want to say patrol module dot patrol. And then we pass in the AI, pass in the waypoints folder, pass in the current waypoint index and the walk anim track. And similar to the seek and flee, we just want to wait 0 0.01. And that should be all that we need. So now let's actually make our waypoints. Let's go back to our scene and go to the workspace and add in a folder. And remember, this has to match what you named it in the script, which we named waypoints. And then we can just add in parts to this folder and this, these will represent our waypoints. So uh, we're just gonna do a simple square. We're just gonna make a like a square around the, around the player for the uh, AI to patrol. And I'm gonna make it red just because why not? And be sure to anchor the part and change the can collide to be false. And this is our first waypoint. So now just duplicate this as many times as you want. Position it however you want. Um, it will go in order. So it'll go to that one first, this one second, this one third, and this one fourth. And let's cross our fingers and hit play and it should be working. Goes to the first and it gets stuck on the first. So we did something wrong and I'm pretty sure I know what it is. You got to go to your patrol module and we forgot at the very end of this function to return the current waypoint index. And since we are returning something, we need to go to our AI controller script and instead of just saying patrol module dot patrol, we need to say current waypoint index equals patrol module dot patrol. So now if we hit play, he should go to the second and he does excellent. And he should just loop around forever and ever going uh, to all these different waypoints and patrolling. So yeah. We got everything working. That is our script. Uh, it's very flexible. You can add in as many waypoints as you want and he will just patrol the waypoints in order and loop around and continue to patrol until he no longer exists. And that is it for the video guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, all that good stuff or don't. That's cool too. I'm just glad you watched the video and I really do appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next one.